Hey, it's Pastor Mike. If you enjoy listening to this podcast and make it a regular part of your day, can I ask for your regular support? We really can't make any of our sermon series or devotions without the continual support of friends like you. Time of Grace, in case you didn't know, is 100% donor-funded, meaning it is your gifts that make it possible for us to use television and print and digital media to share the good news of God's amazing grace. Just click on the link in the episode notes, and thank you for all of your prayers and all of your support. God bless. This week, we're looking at the compassion of Jesus for each one. And today, I'd like to mix it up a little bit and look at Jesus' compassion for the masses. Because although he cares for each one, he also cares for everyone. Do you remember the feeding of the 5,000? So the disciples had just come back from their preaching mission across the countryside and Jesus knew they needed some rest. So he sent them ahead uh, to go and, and rest up for a little bit. But the crowds uh, beat Jesus and the disciples there. And when Jesus saw them, it says something touching in the Bible. It says, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. In other words, he gave them what they needed most. He gave them food for their souls. But then, of course, you know what happens next. With five small loaves and two fish, he fed 5,000 people. He fed 5,000 people with a little bread and a couple of fish. Now, have you ever put that miracle into perspective? I mean, think about it this way. Is it any greater miracle than Jesus feeding billions of people every day? Is it really any greater miracle than Jesus feeding you every day? Take 5,000 meals and divide it by three meals a day and you come out to about four and a half years worth of days. So that means if you are not yet in kindergarten or almost in kindergarten and watching this, then you've experienced the equivalent of this miracle. And if you're 90 and watching this, then you have experienced this miracle over 20 times. Jesus has compassion on the masses. He has compassion on you and he provides for your bodily needs. But Jesus also has compassion on the world and provides for our spiritual needs too. The Bible says God so loved the world that what did he do? He gave his son to die on a cross, not just for you, but for the whole world. Uh, Jesus has compassion, um, yes, for the individual. And if you know me and you know my devotions, you know I love to focus on Jesus' love just for you. But there's also a benefit in thinking about his love for everyone and anyone. You got to love that word, anyone. I love it when my wife says that word, anyone. Um, You know, when she comes back from grocery shopping, Um, I'll admit that I I love potato chips. It's a weakness. I love to eat them. And when she comes back from grocery shopping and she's setting the bags on the counter, my eyes are rifling through those bags to find that bright orange bag of Doritos. But I have learned from experience that I can't just dive into those things. I need to wait for her clearance. And so I'll ask something innocent like, oh, who are those for? And, you know, sometimes she crushes my dreams and she says, those are for the taco salad for the party tomorrow night. Don't touch them. Or I want to use those for the kids' lunches tomorrow. Stay away. But sometimes she opens up the door of delight and she says, oh, anyone. And since I am anyone, that means those chips are for me. Do you see the point? (laughs) Jesus' love is for anyone. That means it's also for you. And so no matter what you've done, no matter who you've been, no matter how far you've wandered away, no matter how deep you've fallen, Jesus loves the masses. Jesus' love is for anyone. That means it's for you. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I know you love the whole world so much that you came to save each and every person that has ever lived. Today, comfort me with the fact that since you love the masses, that means you also love me. In your precious name I pray. Amen.